Hey folks, this is Ioe Thrown back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Deadly Smurf, and he is platooned up with Great Bob. They're both in Tier 4 Luxes. It's a Tier 4 game. We're going to pause this for a brief second as I explain some things. So we're going to do a dual recording. I've done a few of these in the past, but we're going to make this one tiny, slight bit different. Now normally, I like to follow both guys as they platoon up and they, you know, shoot the same targets and all that. I'm pretty sure at the start of the game, these guys are going to do this, go in two completely separate directions, and have two completely separate adventures. So we're going to do it as more as a back-to-back -back game. Um, and it's pretty short, so <laughs> it should fit within one recording. And uh, enjoy, and thank you very much for watching. Also, um, if you, this is going to be like your last chance or your second last chance or something like that, to get in on the extreme effort. Uh, extreme is a subscriber. He's been a subscriber for a long time and he's started to impact the community. And we learned recently that he has a um, autoimmune disease, which means every other day he's in the hospital all day long. And his only, the only thing that relieves the stress and the pain and the horribleness of, of all of that is World Tanks. So we're gathering some money there should be a link in a um, a card somewhere around here, and a pop up. And um, if you guys want to go donate some money, if you can't donate any money, just give them some love in the chat. You know, some comments, stuff like that. Let them know that we all care, right? Okay. Thank you so much, and let's on with the show. So, yeah. Okay. Apparently, they are going in the same direction for this part of the thing. So, I don't... The only... Of course, uh, most of you know I don't watch the same gameplay. Um, I just... I watch it once and only once. Um, and that's when I'm recording it. So, it's all fresh and you guys see my perspective and stuff like that. And I don't have to, like, fake emotions and stuff. I just have emotions. And... Really, Bob? You, you get hit in that corner? Um... And so looking at the, the scoreboard at the end of the game, it looked like these guys went to completely separate directions, but maybe not. <laughs> Obviously not. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens as the, the game goes on. So apparently the enemy has already killed or pushed one of their own off a cliff. Interesting. Oh, we've spotted the Panzer 2B. Um who is right down there and apparently charging into our lines with no regard for his own life and so Bob has jumped on the back of him and Deadly is going to shoot him in the side as soon as we reload. Apparently he's reloading gold. I mean, it is a Panzer 2B. This thing is remarkably tough and that is apparently going to be the way he kills him. <laughs> uh, he's going to reload, reload a standard clip. Apparently he's continuing to reload a gold clip. I wonder if he's realized uh, that he's got gold reloaded or not. Well, it looks like this next clip is going to be a record clip, but not this one that he's about to fire. Are you going to seriously fire cross map? No, okay. He's in fact going to jump down some stairs. Holy smokes, I did not realize the, <laughs> the orcs could do that. Um, everything else kind of like skids sideways down those stairs, but the Lux actually looks like those stairs are made for it, and just glides carefully down. No regard whatsoever. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> he just goes ahead and takes out the STRV, and then parks up behind the T95, Type 95, sorry. Not T95, that's completely different. Meanwhile, I don't know what Bob's shooting at, but um... It's not our targets. Oh. Well, that's a dead engine and dead tracks. That sucks. Especially since he's right in front of the martyr. But I guess Bob picked off the martyr. So that's helpful. Except now we're down to 11 hit points. And this is going to be an issue. Because, of course, that means that Deadly can't get hit by anything. He can't even have gentle sticks blown in his general direction. 
all of that will take us out of the game completely. If he if he knocks over one of his vases on himself, he's dead. Not to mention splash damage from, of course, artillery. So, what does he do? He runs out into the open and starts shooting at artillery. <laughs> because why not, right? As Bob takes out something else. Um... And apparently still has enough ammo left over to take out the AMX. Good job. And that's game. Wow, that was a fast game. Let's jump over and see what Bob's track through that whole thing looks like. And uh, we'll finish off with both of their scores. And we're back. So as we rejoin the action, Bob is about to hit a rock because apparently he was looking behind him and not paying attention where he was going. And now we know the story of the rock. And so we're going to push up this hill the only fast forwarding this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let it play out the way it was meant to. Um, so Bob's not seeing anything. Bob must be, feel really inferior here as he's in the, the lesser paint job. But don't worry, he'll make up for that later on. So here where Deadly backs up and decides to go around. Does Bob just go off this cliff? Because I know he ended up behind the guy. Oh, he pushes forward. Yeah, he just goes off the cliff, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, when he loses half his health doing it. Oh, that explains a lot. Suddenly, a bunch of things have come into focus. Now we know. <laughs> so Bob, in fact, did not get shot. He he did this to himself after jumping off a cliff. Um, okay. Is he actually going to sniper? Oh, no, okay. I was going to say... That would be really special if you were to snipe all the way across. He's ever gonna snipe at this guy. <laughs> so that's the guy that Deadly later on goes ahead and assassinates. And Bob empties an entire clip at the guy and dings him once. That is the um, lack of accuracy this tank has. At range, this autocannon doesn't do much for you. Um, you really do have to get up close and personal and put the gun in the tank before you're going to feel results. <laughs> okay, so Deadly Zipsfax takes that guy out. And this, I guess, is the second guy in line who is about to look over at Deadly. And, um, and Great Bob just takes him out of the equation. Reloading, he is looking at the Type 95. He sees Deadly's also reloading, comes in, swoops in behind. Hits the dead tank and is not there in time to do anything. But is there in time to save Deadly from the murder? Ooh, sneaking this shot through. Goes ahead and doesn't bother aiming all the way because, of course, he knows Deadly hasn't had much time left. And artillery shells splashing in all around. That's, again, something we didn't see with Deadly. We didn't know there was already shells coming in all around us. Because Deadly wasn't paying attention to that. I don't remember what he was paying attention to. Oh, right, he was fixing his engine. Because he got his engine and his tracks blown off. As we go ahead and kill the 10 TP. I didn't even see him kill that last time around, I don't think. The friendlies are putting shots in, but they're not actually killing anything. And Bob Reel is just in time to come around this corner and kill the T29 of the little version. Not the big tier 7 version. And then, yeah, finishes off the AMX and just well done sir oh and that is of course game <laughs> because why not as it's still actually see we're still under time we're gonna jump over and see what their battle results were so starting off with Delhi yet again a uh, second class master badge bruiser duos fighter fire for effect and a brothers in arms um, overall this was a great game and we'll just flip over to great Bob for the rest of the stats because of course Great Bob came in more or less first on everything. Um, he did only get a second class, unfortunate bruiser, fighter, fire for effect, and brothers in arms. I'm pretty sure he got the most experience. Uh, didn't do the most damage, did get the most experience because of that extra kill. Apparently that's worth five at this tier. Interesting to note. Or actually it's worth a ton more than that, isn't it? Because Deadly did did almost 38 or he did 38 20, 28 extra damage I can math I swear 
and we got five more experience, so that's actually worth a. It's interesting right there. Um, and then over here we see that he did really well for himself. They both actually did really well for themselves. Good job, guys. This was a ton of fun watching this. Uh, one of these days, I am actually going to have a game where the two allies, you know, go in completely opposite directions and then get amazing results. But apparently this was not it, though you can tell from, you know, the fact that neither of them shot the same things, um, except for the STR uh, V that we dinged, or Great Bob dinged. Um, it, it just, it felt like they went in two completely separate directions. Obviously they didn't, but it was a lot of fun. Anyway, so don't forget, if you guys want to support Ex Extreme, got a couple more days to put some coinage in there. And if you don't want to put coinage in, that's perfectly fine. Just go over and, um, you know, leave him a comment, hit him up on Facebook or something, and, and just tell him how much you appreciate him. He's been around in the community for a while, and he deserves our support. Um, other things to note is I got a new setup going over on Twitch. So the longer you watch, the more cool, cool loot you get. So I want to try that fairly soon, but not tonight, I don't think. We'll see. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it out as soon as I can. Huh? Okay. And so I'll see you later. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This IOE throughout.